there. Hey golfers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking shaftling. Okay, shaftling is a definite factor that we see from really good ball strikers to your players. They're going to have anywhere from 8 to 12 degrees of shaftling. So what is shaftling? By the time we hit the ball at impact, the shaft is leaning forward. What do I consistently see day in and out, day in and day out? The shaft either vertical or even back. Okay, so this is your kind of scooping or your chicken winging as well. Chicken winging happen as a result of scooping. So that's not the direct issue. So shaft lean and impact, we know we need to have it. Good ball strikers have it. How are we going to get it? We're going to talk today about the lead wrist mechanics to achieve this. And a couple of little things you have to be careful with because I know when a lot of people try and achieve shaft lean because they know they're supposed to, we get an awful lot of shots that go shanks to the right okay so we're going to cover that in today's video so before we get started if you're new to the channel welcome if you haven't done so already please don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and let's get started okay so if you've watched my videos before you know i like to explain things it's really important in order to fix something you have to understand it i'm not going to stand here and say do this to lean the shaft forward brilliant go and have a go okay i'm going to explain a couple of things Shaft lean has implications on what the club face does. We need to address that. So it's not just as simple as going to the range, trying to get the handle ahead of the club face. All right. Watch what happens when I am here in a good setup and I lean the shaft forward. The face has opened. Okay. The same is true that if we lean it back, the face will close. All right. So leaning forward, open face, which is a big issue and why a lot of people when trying to just get the hands ahead at impact will do that right shot no good and think hmm it doesn't work so then they're back to trying to go this way to square that face up vicious circle okay now we have all heard hopefully you have some of you might not have about a flat lead wrist okay now think about this we start with the wrist in an extended position okay a good neutral grip will have that really weak grip will have less of that extension and a really strong grip will have more so that's the angle here stronger grip has more of that okay so neutral grip hopefully you've watched my other videos and your grip is money okay so when we get into this position right i lean the handle forward you can see that the face is opened yes but that wrist is not flat or the logo of the glove is not at the target, okay? So shaft lean, but as I do this, I want to make sure the logo starts to work towards the target, okay? See that? Now that's been able to keep my face square. Now I'm going to get into how to do this in a second. So it's not a case of leaning the shaft and leaving the logo out this way because that is the face open. There has to be what's called turn down. To get that logo or watch pretty much at the target so i can have shaft lean and maintain the club face okay so let's look at how we're going to do this first of all we're going to throw the club out of the road we're going to work on lead wrist i'll do further videos on trail wrist because it has a part to play as well okay when we're coming in we're going to set up hand in front natural hang position you'll see that's where the hand sits that's where your grip should be the logo just slightly right at target that's the natural hang position of our arm. So we're there. We're going to make little mock takeaways. Okay. So here and through, I want you to try and get to impact with the wrist bowed. Okay. You're not necessarily going to be like that when you had a golf shot, but the feeling of wrist bowed and logo at the target. Okay. Just kind of get loose with it. Feel this. And you'll see that I am basically turning my hand down to the ground that way okay think about it if you were kind of brushing something off the table something on top of the table you're going to brush it off you see it from this side here that way okay so you're kind of brushing something off if a table was this height all right that's the closing element if we just go this way 
yes, that's going to lean the shaft, but look at the club face. We don't have a chance. It's that, but it's this plus the turn, which gets me that position, okay? I got a pretty cool story as well for you about how I learned this, okay? And my coach, anyway, I'll get to that in a second. So that's step one, feel that, okay? So it's like there, turn down, there, turn down. Next thing, take the club, and we're not hitting balls, take the club in your lead hand, good grip. But you already have a tiny bit of shaft lean in the address position anyway. So here, same thing, feel it. There, turn down, seeing that's square, okay? Not, yes, shaft lean, but face open. So we've got that little movement happening, turning that hand down, okay? Now, when you do this, stage three to this is set up, chip shots, here, same feeling, okay? There, we're not hitting the ball yet. In stage three, we still haven't hit a ball. <laughs> That's the way you do it, okay? So there, as I've got two hands on the club, I'm now feeling impact. Turn down, hands forward, face square. Check this, be really conscious of that leading edge, all right? So there, turn down, good. Happy with that. Stage four now, okay? We're gonna go hit little tiny shots. Not going past here. So one, that way, okay? So the same feeling I've got from stage one, two, and three, transferring that into little soft shots. That way, okay? And I will do one here. This is a good incentive because the window right there, what keeps the ball lower and stronger ball flight? Shaft lean, <laughs> deal off in the club. Compression, I'd better do it here because I don't want to break the window. And then I have to explain that to my wife. So <laughs> go here, feeling. It'll also incentivize me not to hit it too hard. If you're anything like me and you like to wear a good quality leather glove when you're playing golf, but don't fancy the high price tag, well, go and check out my channel sponsors page, gxgolfgloves.com. Really good quality glove at a fraction of the cost. Use code David at checkout and you'll save yourself a nice little bit of cash as well. So there. Okay, and that's all we're doing. Okay, now here's a cool story. You might think it's good, I do. It was me as a, a stubborn, guess, college golfer, all right? Educating my wrist, me and my coach, Ben Hanna, he was the head men's coach, still is, at South Alabama where I played, okay? And we were really lucky, had an unbelievable facility in Magnolia Grove, Robert Trent Jones in Mobile, Alabama. So what happened was we had the whole back end of the practice area to ourselves, and it was probably 50 yards from front to back. We could just go up, hit balls galore. It was great, okay? But what he had me do was he put me around about 20 yards from the end of that before the actual range started, okay? And for weeks and weeks, he would not let me hit balls off the end of the practice area, okay? So had I gone too fast and too hard with this, the ball would have gone out onto the range. So he made me be very methodical about really slow this way. And I had to chip them and they weren't allowed to go off. So there was this cluster of balls there. It was frustrating, okay? Because yeah, and I was young, still I just wanted to blast the ball miles, okay? It's hard to see bigger picture. But trusting the process of it, after doing it over and over, he then said, right, let's progress to further shots or bigger shots, all right? And that really, really helped me. And that's how you should be changing your golf swing and learning as well, okay? So just a little story about that, but definitely truth in it that it really helped me because I was never going to get these moves if I just stood up and blasted the ball as hard as I could, I was going to just go back to what I was comfortable doing. I wouldn't have changed the swing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.